To build the solder spool holder, you're going to need a couple of things. First, you're going to need the solder spool holder kit. Uh, what doesn't come in the kit that you still need is some plastic weld. You can get this at any hobby shop. Uh, a small rag of some sort, a scrap of cardboard, and maybe some paper to protect your table surface. Okay, first thing, unpack the kit. <clears throat> What you get is the dowel to hold the actual solder roll. Um, this is the back plastic, this is the front plastic. Here are the two inner sides that hold up the dowel, and here are the two outer sides. So, the first step is to actually start peeling this stuff. The way to do it is just sort of stick your fingernail underneath it and, and rip them off. It's sort of tedious and long, sometimes. Um, what you don't want to do is use um, anything like a knife. After you get the stuff started, it's pretty easy. So, you just keep going. Get all pieces. I hope there's a fast forward in iMovie because it will be really boring to watch for you otherwise. Those are all the colored pieces. Now for the clear front. Start off by putting the, uh, the piece of scrap cardboard. You want it a bit smaller than the front, and you put the front on top of it. Um, what we're going to do here is we're going to stick the inner sides to the front first. The reason why we're putting it on the cardboard is because we're going to apply the glue on this side, and what tends to happen with uh, plastic weld is it wicks underneath things. So if you had it right on your desk and you put it like this, you'd end up with glue on the front surface, and that wouldn't look so nice since it's a clear piece. So here we go. We've got the two sides. We've got the front piece. Open up the plastic weld here. This stuff stinks. Oh, by the way, don't do what I just did, which is move it over the, the clear piece, because if you get any drops on them, it'll also show up and look sort of ugly. So, here we go. I'm going to fit those two together. They fit nicely. I'm holding it at a 90 degree angle, sort of hard to see maybe. I'm going to apply glue on the outside edge. And now for the other side, the same thing. Make sure that you put both notches facing up. So I'm going to turn this all the way around because I'm right handed. set but not solid. Okay, now what we do is we take the back piece, fit it in like so. Now once it's done the back is going to be still visible but these side pieces aren't because they're going to get covered by the outer side pieces. So what we can do here is if we hold it together we can flip it up and then we can apply glue on the actual side, and it doesn't matter if we're a little bit sloppy here, because it's all going to get covered up. And even we can apply some glue on the inside edge, because that won't show either, since there's going to be a roll of solder in there. So that's one side. And I'm just going to make sure it's everything is square. Yeah, looks good. Press the whole thing together a little bit. So we take our cardboard again. Since the back is a bit wider than the front, <clears throat> we'll support it on the piece of cardboard like so. What's going to happen next is we're going to take this the flat side and we're going to fit it onto the side that's already there. So any pieces of dust that are on this we want to remove so that the sides fit 
perfectly flat uh, against each other. Oops, I'll put it down on the dirty table. Okay, so that's going to be my clean side. Now here you can go crazy. You can apply glue all over the place along the side. Careful not to have it leak down onto the front though. I'm just doing a little bit extra on that, that joint by the front because you'll see through it later. Okay, so there, we got a bunch of glue. Don't wait too long, it evaporates really fast. Okay, fit that in, squeeze it down. Now what I like to do is I like to stand it up because it's, you want the bottom to be perfectly flat. So I'm pushing down and together at the same time. Okay, now for this side, I've got to do the cleaning process again. Okay, good. The exact same thing as the other side. We can apply glue all over the place here. Okay, pressing, squeezing. Okay, now I'm going to flip it up before it completely sets up. I'm going to push down and together. So, now you can see right here where you can see through the clear part that the, uh, the glue is, is touching on the black plastic on the inside and otherwise the, the glass is still, or the plastic front is uh, relatively clear. On the inside we have the two troughs. That's where you can add uh, a little bit of extra glue because when you put it in here along the edge it will seep in. Um, this is a stackable design. So at the top the inner part sticks over a little bit and on the bottom it's, uh, it's notched so that they fit together. So let's see how it fits. It's not completely solid yet, but you can still handle it. Um, the instructions on the glue, let's say, let it sit for 24 hours. So maybe it's best if we let it sit, but anyways, here's what it looks like when it's stacked one on top of each other. So let's put some solder in here. It's a pretty heavy roll, so I won't let it drop in just yet. So solid. Ta-da! 